He's nearing 80. They've just entered their teens. He's worked the last 65 years as a mechanical engineer. They play video games. Kids in my day never got away with things like that. Brought up in two completely different worlds. Some hairdo looks like a mop. There is one interest they have in common. Four-wheel drives. Tune in to see whether these juniors can withstand the heat and put up with Alan. And you missed a bit back here. Good morning, you guys. Hey, listen, what's that? Flywheel. It's a bench. Oh, that thing, yeah, okay. Yeah. Flywheel. What does a flywheel do? The main thing is to take the vibrations out of the motor and make it run a bit smoother. But we're going to bolt a clutch on there today. Are you listening very carefully? Yeah. What's that called? Diaphragm clutch. Oh, what? Diaphragm clutch. Oh, that's the way to go. Okay, okay, so that's a diaphragm clutch. Okay, there's a lot of things I want to show you about this. They've got holes in the rivets. Why do you reckon they've got holes in the rivets? I can see you. I'm going to try something else more attractive. Why have they got holes in the, ri in the rivets? No. No. Yes. No. Okay. So if they didn't have holes in the rivets and you've got pressure on there, sometimes you can build up pressure in there and it'll actually make that stick to the flywheel and drive and you don't want it to drive. There's another thing here that you want to watch. See that there's a spring in between there, a wavy spring. See there? See how I can push them together like that? Yeah. Now that means as you're letting your foot off the clutch, it just starts to touch for a minute, starts to take up smoothly more and more pressure and it gets solid. If that was solid it would just go bang bang in or out but it doesn't, it's got those cushion springs okay. So if a clutch becomes sort of sudden and jerky sometimes those cushion springs are weak. So there. You got a bit of rag? Yeah. Ah you're supposed to have not your handkerchief either. Okay give that a bit of a wipe. I don't want your mother on me back. Get that oil off it. Now that's all right don't wear it out. Okay let's go we're going to bolt this down on there very carefully uh, and remember how we bolted up wheels, we went crossway, side by side. It's most important that you do it this way. Down a little bit, down a bit more, down a bit more. Okay, let's screw them on there. Alan teaches the boys to use a tension wrench to finish bolting the pressure plate down. Gently now. You've got a big lever on that, rather than you had before. Yeah. Why is he using a tension wrench? So he doesn't shear off the bolts. Overstretch the bolts from there. And can I undo bolts with a tension wrench? No, no. Why not? Because you're putting strain on the wrench. You, you might make it, make it inaccurate there. Yeah. Al puts the clutch in the press to demonstrate what happens when someone presses down on the clutch pedal. Now this normally presses about 20 mil in your, in your car, okay? So you see how it's pressing those diaphragm down there? Yeah. And that'll be lifting the, the clutch plate, the uh, pressure plate away. Yeah, look, it's all loose already. See that? Sliding around. So that's cleared nicely. And see those springs are wide open. As, as we release that, they, they're going to close gradually back together. Okay. So it starts to drive, starts to drive nice and smooth, and then boom, boom, foot off the clutch, and away you go. That's better than the poke in the eye with a sharp stick, isn't it? Now you guys were talking about how I showed you how a clutch releases when you push that release bearing down, and you asked a sensible question: How does it get down? Okay. So we've got a hydraulic cylinder under our foot. That produces a fluid which goes into this what we call a slow cylinder and moves this arm back and forwards. The arm's pivoted in there, okay, and it just pushes this release bearing. Looks a bit different than the other release bearing, but they all do the same job. Okay, so that just moves that, pushes those fingers down and allows you to change gears. Pretty simple, straightforward. Next, the boys are going to have a go at soldering. So what do you know about soldering, kids? Do you any soldering? Yeah. Some type of oh, right. have you, metal. And you have? Yeah. Yeah, is successful? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. successful. Is solder a good connection of electricity? Yeah. Well, you know, not too good, but it's better than an X. All right, I just want to quickly, we'll turn this on. This is a solder, uh, soldering iron unit. We'll turn that on. So it's going to be hot here, okay? So just hold it sort of up in the air like that. Yeah. Make sure the iron is on the, on the wire or on the terminal. Just, you've got to hold the iron fairly tight onto the, like having three hands, you'd need three hands, don't you? Suppose uh, practice you can get better at it. Oh, of course. This is the first time you're doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, look, it's gone. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can tow a truck with that. So you can get solar eyes to just plug into a, even a battery on a, on a car. You can get solar eyes to plug straight into the wall, or you can get proper adjustable things like that. Keep, keep it on there all the time, mate. Eh? Don't worry about it. With, with copper, you've got to be a little bit careful. What we're doing is okay, but if you have a machining copper or grinding copper or whatever, you've got to wear safety glasses. A little speck of copper. Can really almost kill it, you know. So that's the basics of soldering, and I like people to solder things together because it makes a, a real good job, you know. Okay. 
That'll do us for now. And we'll switch that off and let it cool out. Well, guys, there's another session over. Yeah, I was pretty interested to show you about that clutch. That's pretty clever, isn't it? What did you learn from that? Just how it works and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Can you understand yeah. fully how it works? Could you describe that to somebody else? Yeah. yeah that's pretty good, isn't it? All right, on your way. We trust you enjoy the Junior Ask Allen series as much as we enjoy making it. Please let us know if you require four wheel drive parts for your vehicle. And if you would like to see more Ask Allen videos, be sure to subscribe to terraintamer.com.